Since the start of this channel, I've only ever had and used one mic. And that mic is the Rode Video Micro. Now I have nothing bad to say about this mic at all. This mic has been tried and tested and has performed flawlessly. As a matter of fact, anything that has gone wrong with the mic was my fault. For example, not realizing I didn't have it plugged in all the way or having the volume too low on my camera and the volume being low because of my own fault. Not the best mic when it comes to Rhodes lineup of mics, but I wouldn't say it's the worst, especially for the money. Now, there's nothing wrong with this mic, but I came across a dilemma. And that dilemma was, what if the mic breaks? I don't have a backup. So I started thinking. Well, no, I didn't start thinking. I actually said to myself, I'm getting another mic. Initially, I had my eyes set on the road in TG. Very popular shotgun mic amongst YouTubers and people with cameras. But the price. Uh! The price told the spontaneous buyer in me to chill out and take a back seat and actually look around, see if there's anything out there with better quality for less the money. Or maybe you want something a little more expensive than the Rode NTG. You know, I think it's been out for three years, maybe four. But that just proves that that's a quality product. So I'm searching around. I'm not just sticking to road. I'm looking at Deity. I'm looking at Sennheiser. I'm looking at Rode. I'm looking at all types of manufacturers for mics. And I end up coming back to Rode. Thus enter the Rode Video Mic Go 2. I did purchase this mic with my own money. So no, this video is not sponsored. The Rode Video Mic Go 2 pretty much shares the same look as the Rode NTG, but just a mini version. Like its big older brother, the Rode NTG, it is a directional mic, which means the sound quality is a lot better wherever the mic is pointed. What I like about this mic, it's small. It comes in at 89 grams, super, super small. You can put it in your pocket if you want to. It also doesn't have a battery, so you don't have to worry about charging it or putting batteries in it. It is a plug and go mic, so once you plug it into your camera and you have everything set up, turn on your camera, mic turns on. Turn off your camera, mic turns off. No worries there. The shock mount for this mic is awesome. It's super sturdy, it doesn't wiggle. The shock mount on the Rode Video Micro, again, I'm not hating on it, but the shock mount was terrible. It wiggled a lot, you bump it a little bit, it would wiggle, and the microphone would pick up all that sound, so I had to be really careful about not wiggling the mic too much or even not moving my camera too much because the mic would shake. This mic, like the NTG, has a cardioid pattern. You move to the side of this mic, it tends to block out or reject sound that's coming from the side or sound that it shouldn't be picking up. Now you also have a TRS output and if you want a little better sound quality, you have a USB output as well on this mic. A windshield does come with this mic. Uh, it's doable, I like it. I'm, I'm using it right now as a matter of fact. But if you want a dead cat, you're gonna have to buy that separately. I bought mine separately. I'll put the price up so you guys know how much it is, but of course the dead cat's always better in super windy situations. Uh, the windshield that it comes with isn't ideal for wind, but if you're indoors like I am, and I don't know, you got your air running or there's a fan above you, it should be good enough. Another big reason people are picking up this mic is because you have access or have the ability to access the Rode Connect app through the USB output. 
Now the Rode Connect app is Rode's recording app. And in this app, you can gain additional features with this mic, like voice enhancers, sound padding, EQ adjustments, all the fancy stuff that you will want with a mic. Unfortunately, these settings don't stick to the mic once you exit out of the program. They're only usable in the app, but it's not so much of a deal breaker. You know, you can use these features if you're doing like a live podcast or even if you're doing a voiceover. If you checked out my last video, I actually did that entire voicing of that video through the Rode Connect app, which is why I believe my my voice sounds a lot more radio-ish, if that's a word, a thing. So just for comparison's sake, I am actually going to use this mic against the Rode Video Micro. I didn't want to do this, but those are only two mics I have now. Unfortunately, the Rode Video Micro, I, I know it's not going to perform like this mic. I just know it's not. But again, for example purposes, you may be curious what one sounds like versus the other. So let's go ahead and check that out. This is the Rode Video Micro, Rubber Baby Baby Bunkers. This is the Rode Video Mic Go 2. Rubber Baby Baby Bunkers. So the price, the price of this mic is hundred bucks that's all it is ninety nine dollars hundred bucks not bad for the quality of mic you're getting what you're able to do with this mic I think it's very much well worth it I think it sounds great and it also has its uses you know it's not just something you can slap on a camera there are other uses for it like I said before you can do a podcast with it you can boom it and it'll pick up your voice very easily or you just want to do voiceovers with it so for the price i think this mic is very much well worth it but if you're trying to step up your game i'm probably going to end up getting the ntg i feel it in my bones i just for some reason it's in my head but the, this the, we're not talking about the ntg I'm talking about this i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments what mics you have, what mics you plan on getting, or what mics you're curious about. Love to hear from you guys. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace, love, God bless.